tense muscles, quickened breathing, pounding heartbeat, sharpened senses, stress. Stress can be positive when invoking a fight or flight response from an individual. This is due to a hormone called cortisol being released. However, large and long-term exposure to cortisol can be toxic. This is known as chronic stress. In everyday life, the effects of stress are commonly displayed through acne, headaches, muscle tension, hair loss, fatigue, irritability, and difficulty concentrating. However, chronic stress can shrink parts of the brain, deprive the body of dopamine, change the body's gut bacteria, and can even lead to stroke or heart attack. This lists only a small number of the severe dangers of stress. When I get really stressed out, I subconsciously like don't get hungry. I skip a lot of meals. Actually, I've lost like a considerable amount of weight since I've started high school. Um, and most of it's attributed to my stress. I just, I don't know, I'm so young, I don't know how to balance things at all. So my life becomes very lopsided in a way that starts to affect my health really badly. And like I get really bad migraines all the time. I get ocular migraines to the point where I can't see and I can't do work, but I always try. And that's the problem is that I always feel like I have to try even when I know I can't anymore. I've been affected by stress in so many different ways through mental and physical um, in inabilities. I've, you know, been so stressed that I've actually thrown up and then that caused me to be even more stressed. But, you know, that's been a reoccurring thing. Um, I also used to shake. My muscles used to shake when I was really stressed and, you know, they took me to the doctor and all that stuff and like, they thought it was epilepsy, it wasn't, it was just a stress-induced like seizure almost kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that was pretty scary. That's happened since I was about in the fourth grade and you know, now no one really knows what to call it so they just call it like episodes and that's just when I get super stressed and overheated. Despite the dangers, 30% of teens feel overwhelmed due to stress and 31% of teens feel depressed or sad due to stress. This is generally due to overworking. But why is this? I just like feel like today everyone expects kids to be so perfect all the time and in reality we're just kids but it really makes me want to be perfect and that's not possible. Stress controls the lives of many individuals. I very much think that stress takes over my life. I, like I said, wake up and first thing I do is make a list of things I need to get through the day. And I also feel as though I've put so much pressure on myself to perform well in school, in, ac in academics, in, you know, extracurriculars to, you know, just to, you know, better myself into getting into college or make my parents more proud of me. And like, because of that, like, I just put so much stress on myself. I would experience nausea. Like I could not eat. I, sometimes I couldn't sleep. If I even if I got like a 94, and, and it's in a class that it's an honors class, it doesn't even matter. Like some people would say you're crazy, and I really was crazy. But it doesn't have to. You can take control of your stress. I've always been the person to try and attack the problem head on, which I feel like is the most important thing in this scenario. You need to be a person that just knows how to attack it. You need to, you need to find a way to fight the stress and just accept that you have it and accept that you can deal with it. So I visited a therapist and he was really nice. He helped me do breathing techniques which really help out. Just breathe in and out very slowly. And that, that was really the start of the build up. And I really, I just learned how to deal with it through that. And I came to accept that an A is an A. I still don't like getting, I, if, if you get a B on a test it's not awful. I, I soon realized that the 95 thing was just insane. So ever since then, really, I felt I felt a lot better, and I've helped. I try. I think this is really important that helping other people overcome something that really affects everyone to, to some degree is is probably the most important thing around. How many? How many times will you let stress harm you before you stand up and face it? Stress can be a killer.
section. My parents. Self expectation. My grades. Math. A push. Football. The SAT. College. Don't let it be yours.